Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about yellow herbs in Resident Evil 4 Remake and why you should not sell any yellow herbs to the merchant even when Leon's maximum health has reached the limit. As usual, this video contains spoilers and timestamps are in the description. First, a bit of background about yellow herbs. So, you can find them throughout the game and they increase Leon's maximum health. The amount they increase varies depending on what the herbs are combined with. However, you cannot use them just by themselves. So, if you combine the yellow herb with a red and a green, you can increase the maximum health more than just combining a yellow and a green herb together. However, unlike the original Resident Evil 4 game, you cannot use any yellow herbs to increase Ashley's health. So, the question remains, what is the point of the yellow herb once Leon's maximum health has reached the limit? Well, you could sell any extra yellow herbs to the merchant for 3,000 credits, but you should not do this. Why? Because there is actually a difference between the healing effects of a green and red herb combo as compared to a combination of yellow, green and red herbs. As you can see from the video, Leon's health is at a minimum, and if I use a green and red herb combo, then it will heal most of Leon's health, but there will be a small portion missing. However, if I use a yellow, green and red combo, then it will heal Leon's health completely. So, you can heal more effectively with a green, red and yellow combo as compared to just green plus red. Interestingly, this is not clearly stated in the game description. So, the yellow herb not only increases Leon's maximum health, but it also improves the recovery effects of the other herbs, even when you have capped out Leon's maximum health. Now, the same thing is true for a green and yellow herb combo as compared to just a single green herb. Likewise for two greens plus a yellow as compared to just two green herbs. Therefore, if you have spare yellow herbs, you should not sell it to the merchant. Yes, you can get 10,000 credits for a combo of red, green and yellow, but I think it is better to keep it as a full recovery item. An interesting note here is that there is actually a difference between the healing effects of a first aid spray as compared to a red and green herb combo. In Resident Evil 4 Remake, the first aid spray heals Leon completely and works much like a combo of green, red and yellow herbs. Except, of course, the first aid spray does not increase Leon's maximum health. In fact, in different Resident Evil games, herb combinations tend to work differently. For example, in RE2 Remake, red herbs gives your character damage resistance. In RE3 Remake, similar to traditional Resident Evil games, green and red combos are almost interchangeable with first aid sprays in their effectiveness at health recovery. However, in Resident Evil Village, there's only the first aid spray, which partially simplifies the healing system in that particular game. Another note is that in RE4 Remake, you cannot mix more than three herbs together. So it is not possible to have a combo of three green plus a yellow herb. There are also many different food items in the game that can be used to heal damage. And their recovery effects are all slightly different. For example, there are three different types of chicken eggs, white, brown, and the golden chicken egg. And they all heal a different amount of damage. Although this complicates the healing system in the game, it nevertheless gives the player the opportunity to pick and choose which item to use when. It also forces the player to prioritize which recovery item or which resources to pick up when your inventory becomes full. So there are more decisions to be made in the game as compared to other Resident Evil games. Anyway, I hope this video has been informative. Thanks everyone for watching. See you all next time. Bye.